Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be doing the pacifier mod uh, the pacifier modifying video I decided today. So I have a boil a pot of boiling water because I've got these um oh you know what I should just go get it. I didn't think about it. Oh no, don't you get up there. The cat's trying to get out of the water. Okay, so you know how I mentioned before this is a man pacifier, so you know how I mentioned before that um, it doesn't have a bump right here. Um, so I got, I tried to get the exact same kind. I think I did. I got the newborn size ma'am pacifiers. I think I figured out the secret. Now I have the water boiling because what it says to do, um, apparently the secret is the fact that you can pull, take these apart. Like, isn't that cool? Like, you can, I guess you can take off the button and then you can put the, the, the magnet inside and then glue on the button again. Which, if this works, that's a game changer. That's pretty awesome. So, um, I think I'm gonna be showing you guys because I have to modify some more pacifiers. Well, I want to modify some more pacifiers anyway. I'll show you guys how to do both of it, both of them. Um, I need another towel. Here. Um, so I need to, um, I want to figure out this. And if I can't figure out this, and if it's a total fail, then it's a total fail. But at least you'll know how to modify pacifier. So what you will need, um, you don't need the towel unless you're going to do this, but what you need for a regular modifying pacifier is just regular pacifiers, whatever one you want. I tend to go for the, the Nook pacifiers. Um, this size, what size is this? I believe it's either newborn or zero to six months. Don't quote me on that, but it's one of the smaller sizes, one of the smallest sizes. Um, so this one is a uh, newborn. I don't know if you can see, but that's actually newborn. So I love that the man has newborn pacifiers. So whatever pacifier, you can do whatever pacifier you like. I like to have a piece of paper because the glue that you're going to need to use is pretty strong and I don't want it on the counter. <laughs> so, um, you should probably, you should get, uh, E6000 glue. It's really cheap. It's like for this big of a thing, which you're not going to use hardly any for this big of a thing. It is like $5 at, um, like Target, Walmart. I mean, it's really easy to get. So you're going to need that. You're going to need sharp scissors or an X-Acto knife. I tend to go for the X-Acto knife because it's easier to cut the, the nipple off of the pacifier. Um, you're going to need uh, felt to put to put it on. Well, here, let me turn this off. For a second. You're going to need you're going to need felt um, to put on the plastic part of the pacifier. So that way the plastic doesn't rub up against the baby's paint on, on their face. Uh, you're going to need um, magnets. You're going to need pretty strong magnets. I have These work pretty well. Actually, they work very well. They're Pro Mag Neo Magnets. They are a size... Uh, they're six pack, but it's size 25 inches by oh no 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 so they're this size <laughs> they're that size um they're they're really very strong and you're also going to need, you might need paper clips because this can no maybe I mean that it can be pretty stubborn but maybe maybe not I also have some other type of magnets just in case I need more and you're also going to need a baby. I chose Quinn again. She's going to be the model. So, yeah, I guess let's get started. But I would like to get started with this one. I want to see if it works. And I, yeah, I just want to see if it works. So, 
I read online that you can boil a pacifier to sterilize them for about five minutes. So, let's, I don't know how long I'm going to put them in there, probably maybe five minutes, long enough to, you know, be able to break it apart long enough. Long enough in, in order to be able to break it apart, that's what I mean. Okay. These are so cute. I got the girl ones, but this one I feel can be girl or boy. It's a little ducky. It's the cutest. So it's a good little ducky, little heart, and a little bunny. Actually, yeah, it's a little bunny. Okay, so I don't know if I want to do all of them or just one. Let's do the heart. I feel so weird to do this, but okay, let's do the heart. And boil it for, I, you know, I guess I'll just keep an eye on it. But I'll set the timer for five minutes anyway. And to get it out, uh, yeah, I did. And in order to get it out, you're just going to need this spoon with the holes in it. I don't know what you call that, but I guess that's what I need. I need to turn it up a little bit more. Oh, and if you do it this way, you're going to need a towel because I assume it will be extremely hot. You know what, while that's boiling, let's cut So I'm going to do this little B one for this. So I think while that's boiling, we can I can just go ahead and do this. It'll save some time. So what you want to do is you want to cut the, cut the nipple as far as close to the plastic as you can get. If you can pull it while you're cutting it, that's awesome because you want to make sure that maybe you can even get the, all of the nipple off and make it be flat. It has also piqued my curiosity because it has that, um, that little plastic part there. And I, it piqued my curiosity because I'm like, can these fall apart? I don't know. Maybe. So that's just what you want to do. You just want to cut it. It's pretty easy. You just want to be very, very careful, especially if you're using an X-Acto knife because they are extremely sharp. And actually, the silicone is really, really easy to cut through. I didn't think it was. With, with The first time I did it, I didn't think it was going to be. But it is, so you want to be very, very careful.
so I didn't get it quite as close to the... I didn't get it as flat as I would have liked to, but I don't think it'll hurt anything. It's not that... not that bad. I hope it won't hurt anything. We shall see. Rats. Okay, so you want to make the, the, um, the felt... You want to make that so that basically you can only see it on here, you can't see it back here. Alright, let's see. I hope I'm not going to get this up here. Okay, so let's, I don't want to overboil it. Don't, oil, don't overboil the pacifier. Well, let's see if this works. We'll just pause the other one for a second. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I hope it works. Oh, I'll be so upset if it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was lied to on the internet. <laughs> oh no, that's so annoying. I mean, I could have been lied to on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> that never happens, right? What basically they were saying is you could just literally pull it apart after you boil it. Ah, I don't think that's possible. I think they had to have used something to maybe cut it off. I don't really know. Here. Oops. Let's cut this and find out, I guess. Either way, we're going to modify it. I'm so sad. I can't get it. Oh, that would have been so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, I'm so sad, that's annoying. They have, there has to be another trick if it is possible, and it looked like it was possible, but who knows, who knows, it's the internet, like I said. Oh man, how darn. All right, well, oh, I tried. I may be persistent, and if I figure it out, I will let you guys know. But so far, it looks like I've been lied to. Oh, that's so sad. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay, well, let's forget that one for now because I already have this one um, cut off. And like I was saying before, sorry to backtrack, but you want the felt to only lay on this part of the pacifier and not just show on that part of the pacifier. So this was a little bit too big. So you just want to trim off the parts that don't fit. So there, that looks good. So we'll do, I guess I'm just, I just want to do the magnets that I've used before because they're pretty small and they, they work really well. So we'll use these. So what you want to do before you even think about gluing it, you want to get, oh, I'm going to move the water. You want to get that baby and um, you want to put the magnet on their face to see which side you want to be glued onto the magnet. Or magnet, the pacifier. Sorry. So we want to use, we want to use obviously that side that show that is away from her mouth, on the, on the pacifier. So what I have seen somebody do actually, and it looks like a really good idea. Although I don't have anything like that, you take a sharpie and you sharpie the part that is going to be glued onto the pacifier. And that is a great idea because you don't want, you don't want the, the baby to be anywhere near, you don't want the baby to be anywhere near the glue because I assume that would mess, that would mess them up if, if you have it near them. So how I always remember, I put the, the glued side up. So, if that makes any sense. So actually, it looks like it's doing pretty good. So you just wanna put on just a little glob, but big enough so that this can fit on with that, so you don't, so you don't have to do it twice. Oh, oh, and it's, it comes out pretty easy. It is clear, so that's good. Okay, so you just glue the side that you had, well, you have facing up onto the pacifier where the nipple was. And then see how there's that enough glue, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's enough glue to also put the felt on over it. So that it glues both together and you don't have to worry about any more glue because this stuff can get sticky. You just want to make sure it stays in the middle because it can shift pretty easily. And just make sure all of the sides are glued down. If it needs more glue, then glue it, but well, it might need more glue. Now you want this to stay set. You don't want to try to put this on the baby because it will break off from the pacifier. You don't want, you don't want to do anything with it for at least an hour or two and I like to have it set for longer than that I like to have it set for a good 24 hours um just because I I don't want it to fall apart so that looks pretty good so yeah that's just what it should look like and then you have you can't tell on that side but it's modified on that side and that's it. That's literally all you need to do. Um, like I said, don't try it on your baby until at least one or two hours after 
you put the glue on it. Um, well, I think that's it. This is a pretty long video, so I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, I am so sad that this didn't work. And because I already cut the nipple anyway, trust me, I'm, pr I'm, I'm, I'm determined. I really want to be able to find a way to break it off, but I think, I don't know. I really think that it's possibly not possible. But at the same time, it kind of looks like it from the other pacifier. So we'll see. If I figure it out, then I'll let you guys know. But that's how to modify a pacifier. So I'm just curious. If you guys made it this far into the video, um, write in the comments purple. I'm wearing a purple shirt. So write in the comments purple if you made it this far in. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> so, all right. So this is the this is the video. I'm gonna end it here. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you're having a very good Saturday. I hope everything is going well with your weekend. I hope you're having a really good weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.